In this remote riverine community, Kayama, in Kolokuma, Nopukuma, local government area of Bayelsa State, is where 20-year-old Rejoice Oganero builds unmanned aircraft, also known as drones, from locally sourced materials. Although his environment doesn't give anyone the faintest idea that such creativity could emanate from this neighborhood, Rejoice develops his passion in this makeshift store he refers to as his factory. For a child born in a rural community as Kayama, this is an unprecedented feat that he's achieved from his backyard. It is here that Rejoice spends most of his time birthing his dream of creating drones into reality. When I started, I started with bamboo, using bamboo to try to build it. But I was not able to get it flying. So it took me a long time. You know, my parents are not rich. I really took a long break, making more research, trying to improve my invention. So it took me a very long time. Then in 2013, that was when I got my first flight. But getting the first flight, I was unable to control the airplane, so it just moved up and lost. I was unable to find where it went to. I do a lot of research from textbook, internet, like from my physics textbook. My sister was like teaching something and he was talking about uh, second uh, third law of uh, motion. Yes, it's it, uh, opposite and equal reactions. So in aircraft, there are some principle like the angle of attack, which is the angle in which this aircraft land. So if you don't know that angle, if you are not able to calculate that angle, your aircraft won't take off. If you hear someone saying, wow, this is a toy, actually from you, perspective for many people they think it's a toy for building an aircraft is not a toy but there are a lot of calculations you need to calculate the angle of attack you need to calculate the wingspan the fuselage length because you if you look at the aircraft i flew you see the wings is more longer than the fuselage now this, those are based on the calculations i made i did not just carry this wood and build it rejoice is the second child of a family of six and an ss3 student of the state-owned kayama grammar school His scientific prowess and ability to manufacture these drones have made him a celebrity in his community as residents are in awe of how far he's come. <laughs> Using the limited resources available to him, Rejoice showcases his creativity and exhibits the ability of his creation. Many of those uh, uh, materials are gotten from scrapyard. Like you see, the aircraft is made up of plywood, booms, some electrical comp components from our DVD remote, and some from all these toy cars you see. All these toy cars, are something they call savos. So I was able to get that so I to control this. Before when I started, I was getting most of my materials are gotten from like 80% of those materials are from all these places they say ref refrigerators, which is those floaters you see. You look at it, 80% of it are fluters to make it light. And the plywood, I bought some plywood to make it more, to enforce it. Right, just see. So I was trying my best, trying to make it in a way okay. 
even if it's flying, I should be able to control it. So I now started creating some things, which is using wire as a control surface to interlake with my airplane. Then the airplane will be going, we'll try to be controlling it here. We are not perfect to, to be going on before you know the wire will just cut, we lost the plane again. So that was when I took a long break in 2015. That was when I was able to come up with an idea of making it wireless. Then I started with it, I was like successful, but it will get to a range, a very short distance. The signal will just cut off and I will just crash it. Then in 2017, that was when I really got, got the wireless system out to make it in a distance. Now, the aircraft now has a distance compared to your eye. Anywhere your eye can see it, that is where you can go. So if I'm able to see from here to my state capital, you should be able to go there from here. Getting to this point wasn't easy for Rejoice as he shares the several setbacks he suffered. However, his passion kept him going. Sometimes it took me up a year to build an aircraft. So it took a second for that aircraft to crash. Why? Right? Because I'm not perfect. But it, you know one thing I've learned about this aircraft work is patience. Being an aircraft, you must be patient. Sometimes when it took me a year to raise this money to build this aircraft and it took a second to crash, and I would just say, ah, all the money I've puzzled for a year now. But I did not give I was like happy, like, wow, this aircraft has flied. I should not give up now. You know, there are three main um, principles of inventing something, which is the time, the money, and the knowledge. I have the money, I have the time. But I have the knowledge, I have the time. But I don't have the money. So if I don't have the money, it's very difficult for me. Uh, so far, I've built more than 50 aircraft. Friends, you know, just seven are surviving due to the crash. I won't like it. Even my first aircraft is not yet. The first 30 aircraft service is not yet. Because, you know, in every aircraft I build, there's something I got to learn from it. Even if it's crash, there's something I will, I will learn from it. Like, wow, what is the cost of this car? One of these prototypes can be used to aid fumigation, he says. You see that car I was testing down here, it has a, a system of fumigation which can be used in our agricultural, for agricultural purposes. So that car I did to because of my uncle. Whenever I was at home, my uncle would always be coming to me and say, let's go and spray in the farm. But at that time I was used to spray in the farm, I could use it to invent something and to improve my... So I say, wow, if I'm building a car, I should have the, have the technology to use that. Ah, if this thing is able to spray, I just go to the fans, fly my aircraft. That should be a way of practicing the aircraft to make my flight more stable. Even though Rejoice currently enjoys the support of his family, he says it was a different story at first. When he started building it, not even my family, the general community, there was a, there was a doubt saying, wow, nobody has built flyable airplane. Many people have tried, even in this community. So the guy started it I was not able to, to build it, make it to fly. So many people when I started, many people just laughing at me now. Ah, you saw this more so we have seen people trying it, but no one has successfully built it for it to fly. So it just might starting something and you have not even done it and you're in different insults. Ah, this boy just a waste of time. Can you carry go make money, carry do things or play with friends or play with football, just wasting your time trying to make something. So even my family, there was some doubt, but it got to a stage where they really saw that, wow, this guy is not really joking. He was serious. So they tried to assist me, even if they know, I, even if they have that doubt that it won't work, they were just trying to assist me a little bit, they can assist. And now his father stands proud and attests to his son's skills. Really, I was not happy the first time he started uh, doing this work. Or thing. A certain time after you have built the aircraft, you will go and try it. When you test it, it's something will spoil. You will come back again, it will last for some days. You will begin by other things again. Begin by that, you will build again. Then they said that we, they have a competition at Inagua. By that time, they have built one and that one has flat and landed. So, and they want to go for the competition in their school. 
they selected him to go for the competition. And they, as he went for the competition, really, he won. That is the time I knew that uh, this thing that my son is doing is going to carry him to a place that God destined him to be. Rejoice also shared his plans for the future while calling for support from the government and private citizens. I'm trying to go into general technology, which is building different kind of things that come to my mind. And I'm trying to create a memory whereby if I pass away, there should be people like, wow, this guy, he did this thing before he went. And there should be people benefiting from my ideas. Rejoice is one of the several innovators in Nigeria who have the passion and skill to create practical solutions to everyday life problems. Currently, he's not had any form of sponsorship, which makes it quite difficult for him to go on. But with the support from government or private companies and individuals, this tech talent in Bielsa State can become an aeronautical engineer as he dreams to be.